What's up everyone, Super Nerd Daniel here once again. I don't know if I've ever explicitly made this clear or not, but I'm a huge fan of professional wrestling, particularly WWE. I just love the storytelling, the theatrics, the athletic displays, the larger than life characters. It all really resonates with me and I think it's safe to say that it's one of my biggest fandoms aside from Pokemon. And with WrestleMania 33 literally right around the corner, I thought it'd be fun to speculate what kind of Pokemon some of my favorite WWE superstars would have. Is this just a flimsy excuse to talk about my my favorite pro wrestlers and what's primarily a Pokemon channel? Well, yeah, but, uh, you know, shut up. First of all, let's talk about the Architect, the Aerialist, the Kingslayer, the Man, CrossFit Jesus, Seth freaking Rollins. No matter what moniker you know him by, Seth Rollins has made quite a name for himself in the WWE with his technical proficiency and wild aerial attacks. Crafty, cunning, and never one to resist reminding everyone how good he is at every opportunity, Rollins hasn't exactly endeared himself to too many people in WWE aside from maybe the New Day, but they do say it's lonely at the top, and Seth Rollins has been to the mountaintop plenty of times in his four plus years in WWE thus far. Now obviously, given Seth's agility and his tendency to take to the air, a fast, hard-hitting flying type like Star Raptor would go quite nicely on his team. Beyond that, I feel like Seth would definitely have an Aegis Lash, both as a cheeky reference to his time in the Shield, and because I couldn't resist giving him a Steel Tap as a nod to his loving some good old-fashioned metal. And speaking of the Shield, that's the main excuse I'm using to give him a How Doom, given that the shield was often referred to as the Hounds of Justice. Not to mention that, if a Hound Doom burns you, the pain will never go away. And last but not least, a Lightbird, which may seem like an odd choice, but I figured it fits, considering that the Pokedex says that Lightbird likes to strike opponents from behind when they're not looking, and I still haven't forgiven Seth for drilling a chair into Roman Reigns' back and breaking up the shield! Uh, sorry about that, I got a little carried away there. Come on, Daniel, push down those fields, you've got a video to do. I think we need to get it on a more positive note here, so why not talk about Bailey? A pure babyface in every sense, Bailey lives the hug life, wanting to spread joy and positivity, and to be a great role model for young girls. Pretty admirable. As for her Pokemon team, let's give her a Sylveon to start off with. Sylveon is known to use its ribbon-like feelers to emit an aura that can stop fights, and I feel like those ribbons are a really good reference to Bailey's apparent love of tassels. Next, she'll have a Blissey, another Pokemon like Sylveon, that just wants to take care of others and make them happy. After that, something a bit more on the offensive side. Gyarados, because, much like Magikarp, many of Bailey's enemies consider her weak and not on their level, but given the opportunity, she's proven time and again that she's a force to be reckoned with. And lastly, a Pokemon that I think sums up Bailey pretty well, Beware, a big friendly bear that just wants a hug, but maybe too strong for its own good. So strong, in fact, that it's been known to accidentally snap their trainer's spines and kill them. And while I don't think Bailey's going to be severing anyone's spinal cord with a hug anytime soon, her Bailey to belly finishing move has been known to be pretty effective. Not that I think Bailey has a mean bone anywhere in her body, but if Bailey ever does turn heel, I guarantee you she'll start using a vicious bear hug as a finisher instead. Brock Lesnar knows all about devastating hugs, so maybe she could take a few cues from him. Next up, the current WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Bray Wyatt. Bray has always been one of my favorite characters in WWE, and certainly one of the more complex and captivating. With an eerie charisma that draws you to him and a devastating moveset that'll make you regret getting within arm's reach, Bray Wyatt has already cemented himself as a major player in WWE for years to come, and the dude's not even 30! Now, given Bray's dabbling in the occult, there's no doubt his team would have to have some scary Pokémon, so we definitely have to start off with a Hypno, a Pokémon who's infamous for luring people away with its psychic powers and feeding on their dreams. Rather fitting when you consider that most would consider Bray's charisma to simply be brainwashing. Next up, Spiritomb, a Pokemon composed of 108 wicked spirits, basically pure concentrated evil. After that, I feel like Bray should have a Mandibuzz, a Pokemon that feasts on weakened prey and then decorates itself with their bones, which is pretty metal to say the least. Finally, a Miss Magius, a Pokemon apparently able to appear out of nowhere, muttering incantations, placing curses, and giving people terrifying visions. I believe Miss Magius is a pretty good facsimile for Sister Abigail, the figure that Bray Wyatt credits with teaching him about the truth of the world, and whom he's talked up so much that she's basically godlike at this point. Of course, my personal theory is still that Sister Abigail is just a demon possessing the body of Husky Harris ever since he got his skull kicked off by Randy Orton, but that's just me.
Next up, the Irish last kicker, Becky Lynch. A fiery redhead who makes her living ripping people's arms off and suplexing people like Undyne from Undertale suplexes boulders. Becky Lynch is a natural charisma and babyface fire that makes it really easy to get behind her. And for me, she's one of the best overall wrestlers in the women's division. And I assure you, me singing her praises has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that she complimented my hair on Twitter two years ago. Nope, definitely not. Nope, nope, nope. No bias here. But seriously though, Becky Lynch is a very prominent steampunk aesthetic to her character, so I feel like she should definitely have a Kling Klang, a Pokemon that's literally a sentient collection of gears. Next up, to represent Becky Lynch's 100% straight fire, she'll have Incineroar, a fire and dark type with a wrestler aesthetic that takes a lot of pride in its combative skill, much like Becky does. After that, it's Tramla, a Pokemon whose name is a bit of a pun, and no one likes a good pun like Becky Lynch. Not to mention, Drampa is kind of like Becky Lynch personality-wise. Very kind and friendly, even to strangers, but if you hurt her, she'll go berserk and make you regret the day you were born. And lastly, what good would a steampunk Pokemon trainer's team be without the steam Pokemon Volcanion? I know it might be cheating to give Becky a legendary, but again, number one, her whole aesthetic is steampunk and Volcanion's whole shtick is steam, and number two, again, hair compliment bias. And last, but certainly not least, the man who I think I could safely say is my favorite wrestler, not only in WWE, but in the business as a whole, the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke Nakamura is not only a great in-ring competitor, as evidenced by both his extensive career in New Japan Pro Wrestling and his current NXT stint, but he has a unique look and style that sets him apart from other people in wrestling, even others with flamboyant characters. He just has this weird, otherworldly charisma that's really hard to describe and certainly impossible to ignore, and even when you get past that, there's also the fact that, if he has half a mind to, he will actually kill you! Given that Nakamura's bread and butter is his ability to rearrange your face with his powerful kicks, Pokemon like Hitmon Lee and Blazing it would fit in perfectly. Next up, a bit of an odd choice perhaps, but I'm gonna go with Oracorio, namely the Sensu form. After all, Nakamura has always had a flair for the artistic and the dramatic, and I think that Oracorio Sensu is a good representation of this, especially since its Pokedex entry says its dance can send the minds and hearts of its enemies to another world. And last but not least, I feel like Nakamura's team wouldn't be complete without Greninja, a Pokemon whose protean ability lets it attack you in a variety of ways, much like Nakamura himself can wear you down with strikes or catch you with a surprise submission. I just hope that Nakamura isn't quite as fragile as Greninja is. Seriously though, the dude is a two-time NXT champion, and as far as I can recall, he's only had one successful televised title defense? The hell, NXT! I think that'll about do it for this video. There's actually so many other people I wanted to include in this, but if I did that, we'd be here all day. So what Pokemon do you think certain pro wrestlers would have on their team? Let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like if you liked it, and subscribe for more awkward shoehorning of other fandoms into Pokemon videos in the future. See you next time, Pokemon trainers. Super Nerd Daniel, out!